Have you ever wondered, why does it feel like my debt is never ending? Or how can I pay off my debt faster without sacrificing my lifestyle? Maybe you're asking yourself, is all debt bad? Or can I ever be truly free from debt? If these questions have crossed your mind, you're not alone. Debt can be overwhelming, stressful, and downright scary. But here's the good news. It doesn't have to be that way. Whether it's student loans, credit card debt, mortgages, or medical bills, understanding how to manage and eliminate debt can be a game changer for your financial health. In today's video, we're going to uncover five strategies on how to effectively manage debt. First up is Debt Snowball Method from the book The Total Money Makeover by Dave Ramsey. The Debt Snowball Method is a debt reduction strategy where you pay off debts in order of smallest to largest, regardless of interest rate. List all your debts from smallest to largest. Focus on knocking out the smallest one first while keeping up with the minimum payments on the others. Once that smallest debt is gone, move on to the next one. It's all about gaining momentum. Imagine rolling a snowball down a hill. It starts small, but gets bigger as it rolls. The debt snowball method works wonders because it gives you a psychological boost from those small wins. When you see a debt completely paid off, even a tiny one, it feels like a victory. This sense of accomplishment keeps you motivated to tackle the next debt with fresh energy and confidence. It's not just about the numbers, it's about feeling like you're making progress and taking control of your finances. Next, we have Money Mindfulness from the book Your Money or Your Life by Vicky Robin and Joe Dominguez. One exercise from the book is to track every penny you spend for a month. It's eye-opening and helps identify areas to cut back. Tracking spending helps you become aware of financial habits and identify budget leaks. Once you know where your money is going, you can redirect funds from unnecessary spending to more important financial goals like paying off debt. Imagine taking the money you spend on small frequent purchases and using it to reduce your debt instead. Over time, this can make a huge difference. This holistic approach promotes financial discipline, enabling individuals to make informed choices, allocate resources effectively, and accelerate the journey to becoming debt-free. The third is Good Debt versus Bad Debt from the book Rich Dad, Poor Dad by Robert Kiyosaki. Good debt helps you acquire assets that generate income or appreciate in value. Think investment properties, business loans, and education loans. These debts can actually help you grow your wealth. Bad debt, on the other hand, doesn't generate income and often leads to financial strain. This includes high interest credit card debt, car loans, and personal loans for luxury items. Understanding this distinction is crucial for financial health. Eliminating bad debt frees up income for savings, investments, and debt repayment. Fourth on our list is Debt Avalanche from the book The Simple Path to Wealth by J.L. Collins. J.L. Collins emphasizes prioritizing the repayment of high interest debt before investing. Think about it. Paying off a 20% interest debt is a guaranteed return, which is much higher than you typically earn from investments. So, how do you do it? First, list all your debts with their interest rates and balances. Focus on paying off the highest interest debt first. This is called the debt avalanche method. Develop a realistic plan to tackle these debts, cut unnecessary expenses and increase your income if possible. Automate your payments to stay consistent and avoid late fees. Paying off high interest debt not only reduces financial stress, but also frees up your cash flow, allowing you to invest and build wealth. Remember, eliminating these debts provides a psychological boost and improves your overall well-being as well. Finally, we look at Living Below Your Means from the book The Millionaire Next Door by Thomas J. Stanley and William D. Danko. Most millionaires drive used cars, live in modest homes, and avoid flashy spending. The central theme from this book is that true wealth is often hidden and not reflected in a lavish lifestyle. By living below your means, you avoid debt and have more resources to invest. This mindset of modest living can significantly impact your financial health. So, there you have it. Valuable debt management lessons from five of the best personal finance books out there. Let me know in the comments which strategy you're most excited about or if you have any other debt management tips to share. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and subscribe to our channel for more personal finance tips. I'll see you in the next video.